set. Give me a sec, and I can start. Right, okay. Uh, so, yeah, the Halloween adventure, well, the Halloween special is a little known game called um, Aliens in a Comic Book Adventure. Uh, the whole point is basically the interactive things between me and uh, you guys. Uh, okay, so let's have a... Where's the... Okay. What? Okay, I'm done. Oh, so I've got to run it from the damn CD. Right. Uh, 
Okay, that's the first. Never seen something being taken straight from the CD. Uh,
windows. Okay, so let's try it again. seems deserted. Our crew of one woman and three men, including myself, are here, in hypersleep, within our hibernation pods. The ship's heading has been pre-programmed, its destination, Earth. Not far from the ship, on the planet E-54C, a little known outpost lies in... Questions, sir? Yeah, what do you want? Do you need something? Yeah, I want you to get the expedition ready. We're in orbit around B-54C. I need the coordinates in order to land the Sheridan. Mom has them. Get her to dump them onto a CD and bring it to me.
What is it then? Hmm? Oh, by the way, you left your music CD in the cryo room. S, what do you want? What do you think of this SOS, Ogar? B-54C is a mining planet. Anything could happen there. There's not a lot of traffic in this sector. It could be anything. I want you to get the expedition ready. We're in orbit around B-54C. I need the coordinates in order to land the Sheridan. Mom has them. Get her to dump them onto the CD and bring it to me. What do you want? The other crew members think you're a bit obsessed by aliens. The very least that I can say is that I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, Erickson. Williams is an idiot, and McGinnis is one of those unfathomable bimbos with psychological pretensions. How about you, Erickson? Are you capable of thinking for yourself?
I want you to get the expedition ready. We're in orbit around B-54C. I need the coordinates in order to land the Sheridan. Mom, Adam, get her to duck them onto a CD and bring it to me. our lives. We got belt of asteroids three sectors away. If we don't land in a hurry, we got big problems, so move it! Yes, what is it then? Hmm? Oh, by the way, you left your music CD in the cryo room. Yes, what do you want? So you really are interested in aliens? Certainly, I did my master's thesis on them. Fascinating species, in fact. Fascinating? Bloody killing machines, that's what they are. SOBs? The most perfect organism ever conceived by nature. The ultimate killing machine. I've waited most of my life to see one up close again. Yeah, to exterminate everything that moves. Aliens only defend their territory so that the species can survive. Do you think we're any different just because we're humans? Aliens have never massacred millions of their own species in the name of some bullshit ideology. Aliens don't kill you just because you happen to be white, black, Jewish, Hindu or simply different from them is an instinctive drive, not culturally based. Aliens have never destroyed whole planets in the name of progress and civilization. They have never forced anyone to think as they do. And most of all, Harrison, they have never produced an imbecile of your caliber. Central control panel, lower deck.
What is it now, Harrison? You're a good person, Laura. Well, well, what do you know? Took you long enough. You guys are all the same. You don't think we can hack it. We're just dumb and soft. You hardly even allow us to have feelings. Dumb broad, that's what my last boyfriend said as he was walking out the door. I'll end up believing it. In the meantime, the dumb broad has to live with all this crap in her head. What do you think I'm here for? The peace and quiet? The isolation? I really don't care. <laughs> give me the place, uh, give me the stuff that we need. Um, okay. Let's go to no care. I don't like it. I kind of like being in space. Yeah, combat rations and barracks ambiance, you'll always be just another little soldier. Where are the crew members of the dossiers? Do you really think this is the right time for that type of question? I don't know, sounds like a question of time. for landing people.
Ending was okay. Now it's your turn to show us the way. Okay. Oh, so you found that old thing? It's an old model. I wonder if it's compatible with new unit computers. Yeah. What do you want? Exactly how long have we been in space? A little more than six months. I see you got your hands on that stupid reversey. It's boring as hell. You might as well chuck it in the incinerator. Yes, what do you want? B-54C is a mining planet. Anything could have happened there. There's not a lot of traffic in this sector.
prepare for landing, people. Landing was okay. Now it's your turn to show us the way. it now, Herrickson. You're a hell of a tough cookie, Laura, but I like you. Oh, yeah. I'd look sweet, wouldn't I? You're really pathetic, Herrickson. Take a cold shower, Herrickson, and use plenty of soap. Hey, meathead, didn't anybody ever tell you about women's intuition? Because I've got a few of these characters in one of those ones that you know about what you're going to say, she just ripped me with you completely. Because we tried something and she was like, oh, you men, blah, 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 so let's go. Hmm, what song am I? That's a good one. She would tell me I'm a patronizing bastard. What's, the What's on your mind? Forget it. <laughs> Do you really think this is the right time for that type of question? Hey, McGinnis, what do you know about our ship? The food is lousy. <sighs> no vice cuts for you, lady.
Okay, back up. So you found that old thing. It's an old model. I wonder if it's compatible with the new unit computer. Yeah, what do you want?
Is it now, Herrickson? Um... You need something, Laura? Do you think you're a nanny, Herrickson? Six months sleep. Finding it hard to wake up, Laura. Six months of sleep in a coffin only to die in this slaughterhouse. What do you mean? I don't know. You only have to look at O'Connor to see it's not gonna be any fun. Laura, what have you got against O'Connor? O'Connor, Mr. Perfect. He never opens his mouth. Completely devoted to the company. He's the only one who liked the idea of going to help this colony. seriousness, just between you and me. How do you think I'm doing it, Commander? You look perfectly normal. However, if you'd care to jump up on the table, I'll be happy to do a quick autopsy if you like. Space. We're on alert right now, Harrison, so move! Harrickson. By the way, Laura, I just wanted to say you're a good doctor. Yeah, great. A good doctor. A pharmaceutical synthesizer. Laura, I have a pain in the gut. Laura, I'm dizzy. Laura, there's an alien ripping my arm off. But who's there to look after Laura? Dead Harrickson, you and your crappy food. <laughs> well, you did have to be surprised. 
Where are the crew members' dossiers? Do you really think this is the right time for that type of question? half the work. it now, Erickson. It's honest. But don't even think of touching me, or I'll bust your face, man. I wouldn't even try. I have only to look at you to remember the kind of woman you are. What kind is that? You're inhuman, Laura. Have you looked at yourself lately? <laughs> you want to be cared for, but you won't let anyone within two feet of you. You don't want to approach me. You just want to jump my bones. There is a difference. You're adults, Laura. You can be good for each other. I feel lonely too, Lord, but it doesn't stop me from being sincere or from excusing myself. Well, well, it's the first time I've heard you make excuses for yourself. Be careful or we'll end up thinking you're a nice guy. That would ruin your big macho rep, right? Oh god, this girl is like a person. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, uh. <laughs> Hey, McGinnis, what do you say we kick O'Connor's ass? You're joking. He should be unplugged, which would amount to killing him. I'll leave that to the next alien he meets. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
I see you got your hands on a stupid reversey. It's boring as hell. You might as well chuck it in the incinerator. Yes, do you want? The other crew members think you're a bit obsessed by aliens. The very least that I can say is that I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, Harrington. Williams is an idiot, and McGinnis is one of those unfathomable bimbos with psychological pretensions. How about you, Harrison? Are you capable of thinking for yourself? I was just checking the superstructure on Dick 3. My metal alert is pretty weak. What's your eval? Yes, Harrison. And according to my data and mod analysis, the USS Sheridan is an old pack with no future. But I know specialists. For something more definitive, you should check with the captain. her deal. Take a cold shower, Erickson. I need a status on the Sheridan. Mom is repairing most of the damage, but landing won't be easy. How do you manage to put up with O'Connor? What do you expect? I don't like him any better than you do, but he's the scientist, and we may need his know-how. Hey, Williams, you reckon the doc's any good in bed? If I were you, I'd shut it. Status on the shared. Mom is repairing most of the damage, but landing will be easy. I want your opinion on the doctor. Does McGinnis pull her own weight? She thinks she's doing the right thing. Williams. What sort of problem, son? You're a suicide candidate?
Now, Harrison. You're a good person, Laura. Well, well, what do you know? Took you long enough. You guys are all the same. You don't think we can hack it. That we're just dumb and soft. You hardly even allow us to have feelings. Dumb broad, that's what my last boyfriend said as he was walking out the door. I'll end up believing it. In the meantime, the dumb broad has to live with all this crap in her head. What do you think I'm here for? Peace and quiet? The isolation? Uh. You're not the only one, Laura. I could tell you a story or two. So you've got something to say. Must be about as sexy as a barracks. What are your reasons for being here? For blood glory, as they say in Marines? Stop, Laura. You know why I left. The reason I left the colony was I saw things, Laura. An alien. One meter away from me. Have you ever seen an alien attack? I was so close I could smell its breath. And you know what it smelled like? Dead bodies. And the body in question was my compadre. My best buddy. And that thing just disemboweled him. These aliens are not just religion. They're the scum of creation. My worst nightmare. Why didn't you do something? I could have, but I didn't move. I was terrified, paralyzed. With me, six months sleep is a six month long nightmare of then having to relive that massacre. My father was in the war. Missing in combat. And the expedition with him. Herrick, you seem to be getting curious. You better have your green pass if you want to get your toy back. Jesus Christ.
going to get hot. I'm with you. Before you shoot, if you've anything to think with. You killed him! You killed a man for nothing! Shut up, okay? We're obviously not gonna find a whole bunch of survivors here. He attacked me. I did my duty. Hmph. It's so funny I might cough up a lung. Can it? We've got to go on.
of the way, boys. Let the lady have a go. Thank you. 